Okay, good afternoon. Fred Griffin here, Grand Cypress, Orlando, Florida. Uh, just going over a couple of things you can learn today from a lesson that I gave. One is how important setup position is and how it affects your impact position. You know, your ball just sits there waiting for you to tell it what to do when you hit it with the club head. So uh, this gentleman right here, you know, 14 handicap, pretty good swing. You see we're doing swing model, which is a computer overlay, a composite of compilation of 150 of the top tour player swings adjusted to fit his body size. Swings along with you, so you can see how you're performing in relationship to the model swing. So this guy's got a pretty good swing, a little shorter than normal for a driver, but overall pretty good swing. At, uh, you know, so a couple of things he could improve on quickly, you know, and we based that on the ball flight that we saw today, which I go over and look at um, the light scope numbers. And if you can, combination of the launch monitor and swing model, really great way to work on your game. You can make improvements so quickly. It's truly amazing, the technology. So the launch monitor, most people use either the flight scope or the track man. Gives you good information at impact is what the ball is doing. And this is all the information at impact. You can see what we're working on with him is the face angle is 11 degrees to the right at impact. He's hitting down 1.8 degrees on his driver. And he has a launch angle of 8.8 .8 degrees. Ball spinning 16, tilted 16.4 degrees to the right when he hits the ball. So those are the numbers, you know, that I'm trying to affect you know, through his, through his um, work with his lesson while he's here today and, and tomorrow. So a couple of things to note is your setup position, you know, is usually a product of your swing. People have a swing, and then they learn how to adjust their setup or grip to affect the ball a little bit more from, from the type of swing that they have. So this gentleman here coming through impact that you can see right here, there's impact position. He has a tendency to block a little bit coming through. You can see how his arms out in front, hands are out in front, but his shaft is still back. So he hasn't quite let the shaft release as much as his model has. So that's going to pos position the club face slightly open to the right and de-loft it. So he's going to have a lower launch angle and hit the ball over to the right. So those are the things we're going to work on is, is uh, launch angle a little higher to give him more carry distance. You know, also the grip weakened it up a little bit to get the face angle right at the impact so he hits it straighter, but also higher, more speed. You know, because he'll be able to turn loose of the club a little bit more and not hold on to it. So it's set up, go over here and show you with the full figure model right here. If I put the line right up to the ball, you can see how this line's right off the left shoulder. So when I come into impact, and I push impact, you can see the left shoulder still there. See how the left arm is touching? His left arm's out in front of the line. And his club head's still not to the ball yet. So he's got a little bit of a tendency to block coming through. Bring him on through a little bit here in the follow through. And you can see over here how we can, you can follow my cursor. I can see the three fingers of the left hand underneath the right. And here his left hand still on above his right hand. So that's why you see the space between his two arms is greater. So we'll affect the release by changing his grip and also affect the launch angle by that as well and also by moving the ball forward. So really important to get the ball in the right place and grip the club right. So if you can align your body right, get your position alignment good, get your grip right, distance from the ball and, and your ball position, you're going to have a automatically it's going to force you to have a better swing. And then you'll start to get your ball flight to be better. But having the combination of this combination of the swing that you can see here as we come down through the downswing, the swing better, along with the numbers better that we'll see from the impact position that the setup changes and the grip changes are going to affect in the swing much more consistent in the ball flight. So a great way to teach, great way to work on your game is have a combination of the, of the swing model technology along with the flight scope information.